That's that performance there. No comment. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't the best. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I expected more of myself. I know I've had a very inconsistent year, but uh, I thought now I was going to approach this tournament with a different mindset and lose probably a lot of mental baggage. And I, I, I did, I definitely did. But when I got up there, I, I felt the throw long. I just didn't feel it. You know, I, I felt far more comfortable than other throws. But don't get me wrong, come the 27th when I have to play again, it could be a different story. And I hope it is because uh, at the end of the day, you can't win this tournament in the first round. And one of the main positives you can take is your performance in the full set there. Nearly 100 average, I think, overall. So you improved as the game went on. Well, well, definitely, I suppose, and maybe that's probably adapting to the length of the throw, or what I thought was the length of the throw. Um, and, uh, you know, it's about the longer I went, the more comfortable I probably got. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take any little pieces out of that. But there's not a lot, but any little bits I will take out of it. But I know myself, the next round's going to be a lot tougher, but it's going to be tougher for them too because they're going to see a different brand on. We're on day nine now, the World Championship, obviously the last day before the Christmas break. It's been a long wait for you to enter the tournament. Has that been frustrating, difficult, or has it helped you prepare more for the tournament? It, it's been kind of annoying because I know the travel that I have, like I'm a flight home tonight, and now that the, I'm supposed to be the first, first day on uh, after, like to be the last day on, for the Christmas break, then to be the first day on, and there's loads of other games could have been played of people that has played earlier in the tournament. I'm a bit annoyed at that, but uh, it is what it is. I don't make the plans, I don't throw the tournament out uh, between Sky and the BBC, they do the schedule, and you have to live with it, you have to accept what it comes. And I, probably now I'm actually quite grateful that I have that problem to sort out. And you referred to it earlier, it's been a little bit of an inconsistent year for you. You won a Pro Tour title, but haven't been at your best on the TV events. What do you put that inconsistency down to? A lot of uh, mental baggage. Um, uh, for me, last year's performances has been a knockover effect on this. I've expected so much more from myself because I thought I was really good for the majority of last year. You know. The whole way through, I had a really good year, performance-wise. Maybe not winning 10 or 20 tournaments in the year, but uh, performance-wise, I thought it was really good. I was really hard to beat. Uh, this year, ah, you just turned up, you could have beat me. And like, I know the fact that I've actually, it's so hard to actually win a Pro Tour. I shouldn't diss the fact that I actually did win one, and realize that I still have an arm that's good enough. If I just get the mental state of mind right, um, I'll be hard to beat. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you. Brendan, congratulations. These games, obviously, I know you weren't happy with the performance, but they're always tougher when there's not a lot coming back at you in those early stages as well. It is, especially when you know the calibre of the player that you're playing against, and uh, you know they can be a lot better. So, for that reason, it is tough to know because you're probably on edge waiting for them to explode and waiting for them to play the darts that they can play. And that brings out a pressure because you're waiting and wondering, will I respond? <laughs> will, I, will I, you know, put it up to them? And um, to be honest, I think it was uh, maybe a step f too far for Jimmy. Uh, it's his first year, I think, in the PDC World Championship. This is the biggest tournament in the world. Uh, I don't care who or what you are, <laughs> it is. And, uh, you know, we have all favourite venues and that there, but this is the one that means the most in the calendar year, especially ranking wise. Broken tradition as well. Normally we see a Brendan Nolan Christmas shirt before the, um, before the Christmas break. Any reason to break superstition or anything? Yes, there is a really good reason. Really good reason. My shirt is in Heathrow since Sunday. <laughs> there was meant to be one. <laughs> there was meant to be one. There was meant to be one, but uh, obviously that didn't take place, and uh, it wasn't released, and uh, didn't get it. So 
Such is life. You get on with things. <laughs> Brendan, pleasure as always. Thank you very much. Thanks, Phil. Brendan, you talk about that, that Pro Tour win. There's not many players that are able to do that in a year. You come through the world's league to win that. That must give you confidence that you can produce some big results. But, but, but what it does is it tells me that I can be at any one on my day. But what has let me down and other, the other parts of the year is probably my mental thoughts. Thinking too much and you know things that got there is but I pressurize myself. It's like if I have no pressure on me, I'll go and try and find pressure. I'll go and try and find a reason why I should lose. I'll go and try and find a reason why I shouldn't win. Just to see can I beat the odds. And it's not the way to go. <laughs> but that's me, I've done it probably most of my life. I think I can play this game and play it easy, but I try to make obstacles come my way and uh, I'm trying now to get rid of them because it's too hard of a battle. Is the plan now to get the shirt back from Heathrow and try and have it post Christmas? Uh, you know, to be, to have a Christmas shirt, you need it before Christmas, I suppose. To do it afterwards, I think, not so much. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the deal. I might bring it out, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Cheers, man.